What's going on, everybody? Jimba73, back with the Double E Show. It's Miscellaneous Monday with Crusader Kings 2. We left off the last time. We were still working our way through the tutorial, and we had um, come down to here, or we were coming down to here, to do some kind of attack. I, I remember that. I remember putting my ships down here. I, I remember sending them. speed. It's faster. I, I swear I remember doing that. Got my ships. Those are my ships. Yeah, and there's, there's scheduled to come down here. Very good. Okay. Right on. Okay, so we're going to go faster. 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 Here it comes. Click, click, click. Okay, so now my ships are down here. Right? And I think it wants me to do the attack thing, so if I do this... Uh, units, armies, organized in three parts, left flank, center, right flank. Each part is led by one of the uh, regiment commanders. The commander of the center is considered commander of the whole army. Got it. Close. I would like to embark on... Do I embark on here? Closed. Click that, right? Do I right click? I right click. Yeah, there we go. Right? Right? Uh, split off special troops? No. Disband unit? No. Uh, go to location? Yeah. Okay, that's where they're at. Alright. <laughs> when your armies stop in enemy lands, they will start to besiege any enemy holdings. In order to fully occupy a province, you will need to take every holding in that prov province. Winning a siege takes time, and the attacking forces need to be larger than the defending garrison. The more the attackers outnumber the defenders, the faster the siege will be. The work, the fort level of the settlement will also affect the time it will take to siege. To view the siege progress, select your army or click on the province under siege. Okay. The siege view. Oh. Okay, hold on. If you want to win a siege quickly, uh, you can choose to assault the besieged holding. There is no guarantee of success, however, and even a successful assault may come at a high cost to the attacking army. Castles tend to have stronger fortification levels than cities and church holdings. Note that if your army runs out of morale and has no neighboring province to retreat to, it will be destroyed. Got it. Okay. So the siege ends when the morale of the defenders reaches zero or the attackers leave or are driven off. Okay. Boom. So I'm not sure. I'm in nice and tight. I'm sieging. Canarias. Uh, defenders. Their morale is... So my morale is low, but growing. Their morale is high, but losing. Right? Right. Yeah. I knocked on the door and heard him swear when something was knocked to the floor, and I broke. And broke, by the sound of it. When he finally called, come in, I opened the door and saw the messy room filled with weird-looking glasses, stuffed exotic animals, and the man I was visiting in the middle of the mess with singed eyebrows. Have you tampered with the occult? I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here and tell everyone. Okay, I'm going to ask him that question. Right? Okay. Yep. Okay, the morale is coming down. Boom. 
So attempt an assault. We need another 28 days to complete the construction of our siege weapons. Time required before attempting assault, 58 days. Base days depending on fort level, 150. Oof. There's a lot of stuff going on there. Okay, toggle siege view. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, there we go. Okay, cool. I like that one better. Because, uh, yep, we're at 100% morale. Their morale is dropping. Right on. Okay. And chief, whatever, 18%. Uh, yeah. Okay. Very cool. Alright, so they're doing their thing down here. We, we know that. So now we just need to, to wait for another task. Uh, another pop-up. Because that siege is going to take a while, right? Yes. Okay, so we're going to close that. And uh, another pop-up. Waiting on another pop-up. I would like... I'm going to speed up the map here. Mm-hmm. La -dee -dee -da. La -dee -dee up here in if my opinion ruled the world would be a more chaotic but fun place if I if I keep following the laws the world would have less chaos but also be less fun let my rule begin justice should always prevail if my opinion ruled no, no, no yeah justice we're gonna we're gonna play by the the rules uh, I'm not going to get too wild and crazy here. I'm I'm just in the tutorial. All right, so if I click here, yep, we're doing we're doing good. I mean, we we've, we've got the morale way down. So so as we read, if their morale reaches zero or we run off, so their morale is is dropping quickly. I got the well, I got the speed set to pretty fast. So yeah, here we go, coming down, one, all right. When offering peace, you have three possible options to choose from. You can either surrender, offer white peace, or enforce demands. Detailed information on each will be shown when hovering over the options. The exact peace conditions will depend on what the on what Cassus Belly was used for the war. Got it. Okay. Boom. Uh, you are now ready to make peace. To do this, click on the war icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. In the bottom right of the screen. That would be this one here. Uh, you can also right click on the portrait of the character you are fighting and open their diplomacy menu. Boom. Okay. Close that. Uh, we get victory. Okay. Click. Uh, battle 31, occupation 100%. Offer peace. Right? So, King Alfonso of Leon gains the shakedom of Canarias. King Alfonso the Sixth Leon loses 100 prestige. Chief gains 100 prestige. Okay, surrender. Lose 150. Well, so enforced demands. Right, force demands. Send. Okay, has usurped the title. Uh, 
the title county of Canarias from... Okay, boom. The Leonese claim on Canarias war has ended. King Alfonso VI of Leon has won. Okay, got it. Now that the war is over, you can dismiss your mercenaries and levies again. Find a new target for expansion and consider placing your chancellor there to fabricate claims. Uh, you can also use the Holy War Casus Belli against your Muslim neighbors. The latter can be a bit more risky since any ruler of those opposing religion might join your enemy in the war. Got it. Okay, so there's the war icon to get rid of the... Okay. I'm going to go here. I'm going to close that, leaving that open. Go in here. Um, so... The vassals tab listed uh, uh, vassals would pay for maintenance for their troops, even under the command. Therefore, vassals will dislike you more for every year you keep their levies raised. Okay, so I would like to unlevy them. So raise the okay, uh, dismiss the liege levy. Dismiss, 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 dismiss. Do I not have... Okay. Okay. Dismiss, 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 dismiss. Right? Okay. Got that. Boom. Um, army levies, fleet levies. There we go. Uh... Dismiss Realm Fleets. Got it. Boom. Right. Army Levies. There we go. Dismiss Personal Levies. Okay. Close. What is this? Special Character Actions Possible. I can go into hiding in order to greatly improve my personal security against murder plots. My oh. Um. No. Oh, all right. scenario okay someone in your realm has started a faction against you you can set see this faction its leader and other members in the factions view uh, some faction members might consider leaving a faction even if their opinion of you has is increased uh, but in many cases you might need to get rid of them in some other way okay so factions factions So, sister, close this. So, sister, sister, and sister, right? So, it's the same woman, right? Yeah. So, factions, factions, stream. Uh, my opinion of you, um, okay. Someone in your realm has started a faction against you. That would be that, right? Okay, so if we click on her. Um, Okay. 
Revoke the County of Zamora for 50 prestige. This will lower Queen Yasura's opinion of you by 60 and your other vassals by 15. Okay, cancel. Alright, so I'm going to say got it. So that's where she is right there, and we'll wait for the next hot tip. As you might have seen in the laws view, some succession laws require a higher crown authority. Crown authority, which is also found in this view, represents how much legal authority you have over your, vas over your vassals. Yeah. Crown laws such as this one, indicated uh, by the crown icon next to its name, can only be changed once per ruler. Crown authority can also only be changed one step at a time. Okay. 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 Right? That's my heir. He's king, king, queen, princess, king, heir. Okay. Realm. I have a limited crown authority. Okay. Uh, free investor. Okay. Decentralization. Okay. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. All right. I kind of understand. Uh, yeah. I think I understand what they're talking about. Right on. Okay. Both your vassal limit and your domain size limit can be increased through the centralization law. Low centralization will give you a bonus to your vassal limit, whereas high centralization will increase your domain size. As you see, you'll have to make a choice here. Domain laws, such as centralization, can only be changed once every five years. Also, centralization can only be changed one step at a time. Alright, so we go back in here, and I go realm. So this is uh, crown authority, centralization. So. By increasing these, I can increase the size of my domain. So if I go from minimum, my domain size goes up one. My vassal limit goes down by five. Hmm. No, I'm, I'm, I'm actually fine with the way that it is. So, got it. Uh, we'll just wait. And... There we go. Okay. The higher levels of the crown authority and centralization laws are restricted by your technology level. In order to unlock the more advanced laws, you must you must invest in legalism, found in the technology view. Legalism is found in the culture advances technology tree and costs cultural technology points. The other two technologies, techno. Techn yeah, technology categories are military and economy. Okay, so we go in here. Um, technology view. So... in the cultural advances tab um, right I'm here oh legalism down here crap okay uh, okay da -da -da -da. to unlock the more advanced laws you must invest in legalism found in okay so map mode no invest in legalism Okay, got it. So, I all right. You've been given technology points for each of the three types of advances. Find some advances that interest you and click the corresponding invest button to spend technology points and increase it to the next level. 
Uh, technology points are gained over time, but technology also eventually advances by itself if neighboring provinces are more developed in that particular field. Okay, so we're going to invest in legalism, right? Boom. Um, we can invest in, looks like we can invest in improved keeps and castle infrastructure. Uh, light infantry, heavy infantry, cavalry, siege equipment, shipbuilding, military organization. So, boom. And boom. And boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right, I'm just going to spend them all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's good. Click on that. Close it. <coughs> Pardon the cough. Okay. Got it. Now the next. We mentioned claims earlier. Your character has claims on the kingdoms of uh, Castile and Gal Galicia. As you can see, if you click on your portrait, there might be a less risky way to press this claim than going to war, however. Okay, clicking on my portrait. Boom. Close that. Um. Okay. King Sancho. Okay. Yeah, so that's me. I'm going to go through all that noise again. Okay. Uh, disable hand. Got it. Okay. Died a natural death. 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 Okay. So all these people are dropping dead. Mom's getting ready to go, I'm sure. Right? So there, are, there might be a less risky way to press this claim than going to war. Um, he's my brother, right? Right click. Okay, I'm plotting to kill him, and I'm not exactly sure why. Okay, got it. Wait for the next one. Okay. So, the King of Castile is actually your brother, and you are currently his primary heir. Uh, to really make sure that you inherit his kingdom, you could try to kill him before he can father a son to supplant you as heir. If you click on your brother's portrait, you can create a plot to kill him by clicking on the plot icon to the left of his portrait. You can also start plots from the plot view. Start a plot, uh, kill plot against your, your brother. Well, I already did. So, plot to kill him. Boom. Oh no, I guess I hadn't yet. Has decided it's time for King Sancho to, okay, the higher the plot power the more likely they are to find an opening. Do it. Okay. And so intrigue. Close. My plots. Kill King Sancho. Got it. Plot power is 58%. Uh, invite potentially useful characters to your plot. Hmm. Well, it looks like I've, I'm gonna, uh, no, never mind. Okay, got it. Okay. Now you have a plot going, but you will need the help of others to succeed. 
You can find potential plotters through the plot view. Not all potential plotters may want to join your shady schemes, however, the ones that are hesitant but still close to accepting will usually come to their senses once you bribe them with gifts. To make this simpler, you can also check the auto invite plotters option on the plot on the plot in the plot view. Okay, so we're in here. Invite plotter. Here's a plot view. Um, religion, ambition, character, uh, amass wealth, uh, I don't see an auto invite Uh, you can also check the auto invite plotters. Not there, not there. Um, auto invite plotters. There you go. Okay. Okay. People are whispering. Oh, look at all these backers coming into it. Okay, Baron Valido, my co-conspirator, has sent word that a massive pit of manure has been prepared under the floorboards of an abandoned inn on a path King Sancho will travel with his escort. Once they are seated at a table, kaboom. Right on. So, he's going to go boom, bye bye Boom, bye bye all right, and when the next one pops up, we're going to call it an episode. We're getting a little long here, but uh, this is, here we go. All right, so we'll read this. Failure King Sancho discovered the manure and avoided the explosion. Thankfully, my role in this remains unknown. We will just have to try again. Right on. Okay, so um, if I recall correctly, this is number four in the uh, miscellaneous money series. That means we have one more to look at. This tutorial is pretty cool. I'm having some difficulty finding the location of things or recalling the location of things because I am only playing it once a week. Um, but I mean, it's really in depth and I'm, and I'm, I'm kind of digging how deep it goes into everything. It might be outside of my, my mental acuity grasp, um, but we'll continue on through next week. Uh, if you like what you're watching, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Tell your family, tell your friends. If you have any suggestions as to what you think we should do here on Miscellaneous Mondays, uh, put them in the comments below because I do read them. And with that, I will catch you next Monday. Peace! That was a failure of epic proportions. Unacceptable.